Artiste, artiste là, qui a tout bagaille, moi j'aime acting, moi j'aime chanter, et ma bao, Nathan Sarabini, ma pral bon en pile musique, et comme ça, tout le monde a bon en bagaille, au cas où on movie, et moi j'aime que ça soit un movie, moi j'aime que ça soit shooté au movie, like really the last breath. So, au cas où on a fait un pile en TV, un movie, but ça se qui a même, et primarily, c'est un recording artist but ba ou tout bagay son moun ki an plaisir talent et m'utiliser tout talent so c'est ça ce qui a do I see myself as an artist I see myself as someone who is relatable um who and I inspire people um I am someone who came from you know I came a long way from here I've evolved a lot over uh, the years of my career, so I have reasons to believe that I've, I've given a lot of people the inspiration and motivation to do something that they love. There's a lot of people that I can say um, that inspire me to be strong, motivating, and driven. Um, I would say Emeline Michel, um, Michel Matelli, um, you know, people that I grew up listening to their music and stuff. So. Um, in the HMI, for me, it's really been um, a struggle for acceptance. I do feel like I, I grew in front of the community. I grew up in front of the community, and I, I was not afraid to explore different sides of my personality and who I am. Um, you know, just I was never afraid to be bold. So uh, a lot of times that's a bit of a shocker for the, some people in the HMI. And sometimes it's kind of, you know, I don't know if they accept it too well, if they receive it too well. So um, I would definitely say that there's, I've had hard, hard times being accepted in the HMI, but at the same time, I've, there's a lot of people that support me and accept me, so. I mean, I, I'm, I'm one of the original, I'm one of the originators, one of the creators of the whole, you know, Haitian comedy thing. And I take pride in that and I know, I, I, I love inspiring people. So yes, I do see a lot of people who um, are inspired by, my, by something that I've helped create. And to be honest, when you help create something, you wanna see it evolve, you wanna see people take it to another level. So yeah, I can definitely say that I play a part in the wave of Haitian comedy, of course. Six moon bari men a HMI la. I'm giving him 10,000 moon bari men. Um, ki tem zon bagay. Moi mem, se pa on moun tan kou ki na fe pa ren men moun. Ren men moun pa ren men moun. Jis gen moun ki pa yon facteur na sa m fe na la vi m chak jou gen moun que je ne suis pas par importance, um, but à faire au moins chita l'amparé mais et bla 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 ou pas pas quoi qu'il y ait un monde qui qui est plus important parce que ça pour moi chita pour me battre mais mon non si on me fait mal ça sont l'autre bagarre même bag bag à du dit que il y a un monde qui me barre mais non um, je choisis pour me faire musique pour tout le monde c'est pas pour celle qui est mal à qui me fait musique surtout des musiques moins ou après Ken ne pas lang ou parle ou bien ou ka kite yon moun ki pa parle kreyol tande li ap vibe avec musique mwen. So sa vle di, m pa di ke m fe musik sel pou etche ma la. Um, mwri m fe musik an kreyol. E m te komanse an angle, m te vin switch an kreyol. Um, ma pwe tou ne fe musik an angle tou. So, um, just stay tuned, wap pwe tout sa m ka fe. But, konya la, an pil fanatik mwen yon se haïsien yon e, mem le tan kou se lot boy ap viv, my, uh, uh, United States ou bien lot peyi. Um, it's very important for us to be able to buy value with the culture of us, for us to be able to enrich us, and for us to be able to promote it. So, it doesn't mean that I don't do music in English. It doesn't mean that I don't do music internationally, it's just 
I want to be a community in the same time. I just want to be seen as someone who's influential, who is impactful, someone who is, un, is not afraid to go after it, someone who is just wild and crazy and, and, and positive at the same time. When I was in 2016, I had an EP that was in iTunes, and it was the beginning. So, si ou, um, si ou suiv mwen lantan, ou sa son bagay wap konen klèman, bot si se yon nouvo fanatik ouye, ou ka al sou iTunes, wap jwenn yon EP ki genye 5 chante ke mte fe, um, bon bagay, bon bagay net, e, lot, e nouvo poje mwen, nouvo chante mwen ke mgen m fenk soti li sou, lap sou iTunes, um, osi, also, um, yeah, m fenk lag, I just dropped a single called Chime Lamo, um, lem tap ek ki chante sa, se just, Et juste une vibe, moi t'es senti. Um, vibe là, j'ai venu sous moi, so m'te juste m'lage comme plap sous track là. <laughs> et puis m'a nagé sous track là. Et puis c'est comme ça, chimé l'amour t'es venu créer. Même là, on t'en dit, on va pour ça pour peut-être, on va pour essayer un bagage que m'fait. It's something I did just vibing. It's, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and give you a deep meaning about it because what it is for me. Is a song that makes me feel good. Li fem sentim uh, alez so. Music sa m gen m gen pou m fè an pil bruy ansanm avèk li. E m pa gen moun ki di m yo pa rèm men chante a. M pa gen yon moun ki tande chimè l'amour pou yo di a ou te ka fè sa pi byen, ou te ka fè sa pi byen. M pa ko jwenn sa. Sa vle di chante sa is just a matter of fè moun tande l. Ou konprann? So, et son chanté que m'kwe ki ka ale loin, son chanté tout um, ki ka aide pomote musique haïtien et artiste haïtien parce que j'aime dire que n'importe moun ka vibe avec Chimel Amour. Chimel Amour disponible sur iTunes, Tidal, Play Store, tout côté sur Internet là ou ka achete Chimel Amour. So, if you want to support the artist or you want to listen to the chant, you can go to all platforms that make music on the net and you can listen to the chimel. Um, yeah, so if you have a book, you can go to my profile, on Instagram or on Facebook, or on email, info, at officialsaskiasky.com. And you can go to my email, and it's like you can arrive to book me, en contact ensemble avec moi, etc. Pour nous, vos artistes qui ont dans le mouvement, ça m'a dit que que juste qu'on était tout, qu'on était tout, qu'on est sauvé et sauvé, ça, le rap font bagage, pas coûter le monde. Pas coûter le monde qui a dit qui direction vous allez, pas coûter le monde qui a dit et qui, tant qu'on a cap critiqué ou tout le jour, si on sentit le rap font bagage ou senti le là, bon, ou senti le fait qu'on est content, Juste fait. Il y a un peu de monde qui a dit, oh, ça va faire pas bon, ou bien critiquer ça va faire. Moun sa yo, premièrement, moun sa yo, qui ne doit pas même qu'à faire ça va faire. Parce que si vous êtes capable, vous avez fait lui-même. Deuxièmement, il y a un peu de monde qui a dit, c'est tant et tant pour vous décourager, pour vous slow down, pour vous faire même bagaille là tout vous-même. Si vous avez un peu de monde, vous avez toujours mis en tête tout, c'est celle vous-même, c'est celle ça vous avez, c'est celle vous-même qui a guidé la tête. Ou un peu de monde, vous n'avez pas pour vous. So, ça veut dire qu'on ne sait pas faire, faire ce qu'on peut faire, et puis juste garder devant, pas occuper personne, qu'on puisse essayer de râler ou de tourner, juste focus sur ce qu'on peut faire, et puis tout le monde va tomber dans la place. What I know about fashion, I mean, as an artist, fashion is just part of my everyday life. You know, everything about me is about how I present myself and how people perceive me, perceive me the very, what impression I make the very first time someone sees me. So fashion is, is just a, a, a sense of, it's a way to express yourself. That's what it really means. How you're feeling and you just, you know, how you want to represent yourself, how you want to, it's a form of art, how you want to express yourself. And you know, it just it, it, it goes in tune with a lot of you know how you feel, and it's just making an impression. You know what I mean? So wow. Um, for me, fashion before um, when I was growing up and now, is is just it was it's very interesting. You know, there were different stages. Um, you have the '90s and the early 2000s. So I I used to see you know I. I 
Yeah, the let's talk about the what I can remember the most, like the early 2000s with the bandanas, um, the big the big big jeans for the guys, and the the, the you know oversized clothing, and then for the ladies it was you know all about tibu jeep, a a senti won fe kopwan, it tanku tege a pili tifeng ba guys so. So avec Konya now it's like it's a totally different ball game. I mean, everything comes back around in a circle, but you, you always do it differently every time. So there's like different types of fashion now. You have, um, you know, people have their street styles. They have their, um, I would say, very glamorous. Um, there's all types of different fashion. For me, I, I'm like I, I'm really into the street styles because. I always want to be comfortable, you know, but if you if you followed me before, I was very, you know, like this all the time, you know, but now I'm like a little bit more chill, so. Um, as far as in the HMI, is there anybody that I can look up to and say that their fashion styles inspire me? To be honest, who can I say? Nah. Nobody. I don't really have a, I don't have a favorite brand. So I don't have a favorite brand. Um, there are brands that I won't rock because of the, their, 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 you know, just people, yeah, like a lot of times people overwear them, they overdo them, they kill. There are certain brands that you would never catch me with just for the simple fact that I'm like, ah.